What is up everybody, Wattabolo70 here and welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. And today I'm going to be showcasing my first Light Sworn deck on the YouTube channel. I'm going to be playing Chaos Light Sworns. This is a Light Sworn deck that uses the power of both light and dark to summon into some crazy boss monsters and it is so much fun. So even though I'm titling this a Light Sworn deck, it's technically just using Light Swords as an engine to summon into stuff like Chaos Sorcerer, Thunder Dragon Duo, Light Pulsar Dragon, all those cool cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So if you guys are excited for the first deck that I'm creating on the brand with the brand new cards from the recent main box you guys know what to do be sure to go show your support by hitting that like button on the video down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more YouTube content I am beyond excited to showcase this deck for you guys let's get into it also as per usual here you guys go if you guys want to copy and paste this epic deck list for yourself be sure to do so I will admit though as you could probably tell it is extremely expensive this is more just like hey I'm showcasing a cool deck I don't really expect a lot of people to also play this deck nonetheless though let's go hop into it I hope you guys are excited and let's get into it now I'll be honest I have absolutely no clue how I'm gonna like commentate this video because this deck combos so quickly you're just gonna essentially we're just gonna mill a bunch of cards and then we're gonna be able to summon it to some boss monsters that's basically what's gonna happen here so let's get into it i got a god hand we're using the good old spell specialist if your deck contains five or more spell cards with different names you have an improved chances of having a spell card in the starting hand so we top decked or we opened up with a charger light brigade and two solar recharges insane right here we're going to trigger light of the charge brigade or charge of the light brigade i'm probably going to mix that up so many times in today's video but nonetheless so this card is super good for light swarms you send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard and then you get to add a level four lower light swarm monster from deck to your hand this card helps you search cards in your deck and it's going to help us pitch some light and dark monsters so that we can go into our boss monsters so that is awesome right there uh we're going to activate it and we're going to pitch three cards sadly we pitched a thunder dragon duo and a chaos sorcerer we don't want to pitch cards like that but we still got a stupid amount of boss monsters in the deck so it's going to be okay we also pitch uh illumina which is not a big deal because we already have that in the hand now opening up into raiko the twilight sword fighter is usually not the best play i'm trying to even remember if i have this card still in the deck because this dual replay them showcasing right now um was one of my like earlier testing of the deck i've been readjusting this deck so many times but i originally went for this card right here because it is a decent turn one card but as you guys can see i'm not gonna go with this guy so don't search for this lad your best bet is either search for lumina or i think raided is it, it's what it's called a four star uh tuner monster that's a light sword monster which we'll definitely discuss about later in the video but that's a usually a better card to search into this is not a good search don't do it uh anyways though we're gonna search for that we're gonna play our solar recharge uh we're gonna pitch what was it we're gonna pitch our lumina and then we're gonna draw into light pulsar and plague spreader zombie next up we're gonna activate another solar recharge and then pitch um what is it we're gonna pitch our light sworn fighter and then draw a couple cards we actually drew into another charge of the light brigade which is insane and we top deck into raid and this card is really good so just search for this guy earlier but it's fine now next up though we're gonna search for our last lumina we're gonna pitch some more cards we get a bacon saber in the graveyard so that is awesome and this is where some crazy stuff happens so we're gonna first trigger our wolf's effect wolf when he gets sent from the deck to the graveyard he can special summon himself next up we're gonna summon into our lumina and we're gonna use lumina's effect to pitch our uh plague spreader zombie and special summon from the graveyard raid and hand light sword next up we're going to go for a synchro summon into the brand new synchro monster michael the arc light sword this card is super cool because of the fact that once per turn you can pay a thousand light points target a card on the field banish that target when this card is destroyed you could target any number of light sword monsters in your graveyard shuffle them into the deck and if you do you gain 300 life points for each return card once per turn during the end phase you can send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard absolutely insane literally just now we pitched like how many cards did we go through we started off with 30 cards right now we're at 10 cards in our deck and we have michael on the field we have wolf on the field we have light pulsar later because we can summon light pulsar by banishing a light and dark monster and we clearly have that much uh monsters in the graveyard to special summon to light pulsar which is just absolutely insane and on top of that we do have a bacon saver for protection so insane turn one play we have protection we have monsters on the field we have plays if our opponent disrupts our board absolutely insane Next up, though, we pitched some more cards. Snipe Hunter was another card that I used to run, but I removed it from the deck. Anyways, though, we're going to go against Neos. He's going to summon um, He's gonna summon his Neos Space Conductor, or Connector, and then summon it to his Neos. Then he just passes. I He didn't really do much. It was a little disappointing. But we top deck it to another Light Pulsar Dragon, and look at this, boys. This play is absolutely insane. 
First of all, we're going to use our Michael's effect by paying a thousand life points and then target his card. He activates next special summon any number of monsters with different names from your hand or graveyard in defense mission that are all Neospatian monsters or elements of your Neos but negate their effects. Um, and as long as you control any of those special summon monsters face up, you cannot special summon monsters from the next decks fusion monsters. So he basically summons another hero or elemental hero Neos for free. Going to be a little bit of an issue, but at the same time, we're going to be okay. We're about to OTK this fool. Next up, we get Normal Summon into Raiden. This card is absolutely insane. It's a 4-star Light Tuner monster. During your main phase, you can send the top two cards from your deck to the graveyard. Really good effect, considering that most Light Sworn cards don't allow you to pitch cards on during your main phase, but since this one does, very valuable right there. Um, yeah, and then what else does this guy say? Oh yeah, he gains 200 attack if you mill Light Sworn cards. And then, um, once per turn, you send the top two cards to the deck to the graveyard. But no, he's good because he's a 4-star Light Tuner and he pitches cards. Anyway, so we have Wolf and Raiden, and we're going to go into the Secret Summon of your boy, Scrap dragon next up we're gonna banish two of our monsters to summon into a light pulsar dragon and since i have so many resources in the graveyard i'm literally going to pop my own light pulsar dragon to get one of his get rid of one of his elements like hero neo says and then we're gonna follow up with summoning into another light pulsar dragon and just otk this fool like we had so many resources we had protection with bacon saver absolutely insane love this duel great showcase of the deck i'm going to show you guys one more duel replay of me just popping off of this deck and then we're going to hop into the live duels today's video and smack of the ring pp ladder so this second duel that i'm showcasing to you guys for the most part i kind of bricked we opened up with a chaos sorcerer wolf and a solar recharge but at the same time this hand was still easily usable and you're going to see that right here we're going to activate our solar recharge pitch a light sworn to the graveyard and draw two cards next up we're going to activate our second solar recharge pitch our light sworn monster draw two cards wolf's effects going to trigger since we pitch one from the deck to the graveyard we drew into lumina so we're going to summon our lumina we're going to pitch a thunder dragon duo and special summon a raiden activate raiden's effect to pitch some more cards in this situation i summoned it to start a spark dragon because i did not pitch any of my bacon savers if i pitched a bacon saver i probably would have went into the synchro summon of uh, uh, Michael, but we wanted to start a spark dragon because I just need some sort of protection just in case if our opponent's going to do some ooga booga stuff. So that's what we did right here. Next up, our opponent is going to summon it into a psychic tracker and special summon a psychic wielder and go into the synchro summon of Goyo Guardian. He's going to target my spark dragon with wielder's effect, where when you synchro summon um, with psychic wielder, um, if the attack points of your synchro monster you just synchro summon into is higher than one of your opponent's monsters, you have the option to destroy it. So he was trying to kill our starter spark dragon, but I'm going to trigger starter spark dragon's effect so we don't have that happened so i chained it he gets immunity from the destruction and then he gets to live sadly the immunity doesn't last the entire turn because you only get immunity from getting destroyed once so due to that um, our opponent's gonna attack with goyo guardian and destroy our star spark dragon and due to goyo guardian's effect when he destroys a monster by battle you can special summon it on your field defense mission so i was in a bad situation right here because he has a 3400 attack monster and he has my star to spark dragon that he stole from me with the protection effect that you can target a face of card you control once during this turn it cannot be destroyed battle card effects but you know what boys we we have the plays we have the combos i ain't worried whatsoever we're gonna go draw and we're gonna go banish a couple of our monsters to summon it to chaos sorcerer and activate his ability to get rid of star spark dragon star spark dragon it doesn't matter because this is a banish effect not a destruction effect so you're going away we're gonna activate a charge of light brigade to search for our twilight sword fighter Next up, we're going to go pitch one of our cards to then summon into um, our special summon, our Raiden, through Lumina's effect, to then synchro summon into Michael, the Arc Light Sworn. And even if our opponent used Spark Dragon's effect to target Goyo Guardian, it didn't matter because we're going to banish it with Michael. Next up, we're going to banish a couple cards, summon into Light Pulsar Dragon, and OTK right here. Very insane. I love this deck. I'm so happy that I'm playing something a little bit different compared to everybody else in the YouTube community because everybody's been playing Judgment Dragon Light Swords, which is understandable, but I hope you guys appreciate the fact that I'm doing somewhat a little original and everything like that. And I just love the chaos and like light and dark summoning stuff. I love that deck to bits. Love it so much. I'm happy I can play it again. Let's go hop into the live duels of today's PvP video and see if I can snag some wins. I might misplay a lot. I might get a lot of dubs. We'll have to wait and see, but I'll see you there. Going against the Platinum Ring 7 with a full belt of King of Games. Uh-oh. We're probably going to go against a meta deck right here. And I'll be honest, this will be good practice for me because I haven't went against any of the meta decks. We're we going first or second. We're going first. This could be good or bad. It really could be good or bad. Let's see how bad we break. This is my first duel of the day, by the way. So this is going to be something. Um, This hand's pretty doo-doo, I'll be honest. It's pretty trash. Uh, we're going to pitch our wolf and draw into a couple more cards. Um, We did pitch a light pulsar, which isn't horrible. Um, we can't special summon our wolf, so this is interesting. This is very interesting. I think what I am going to do, though, actually, yeah, let's summon into Lumina. 
We need to pitch some cards right now. Um, yeah, let's go pitch the Plague Spreader. Let's go pitch him. So we can summon Wolf. I didn't know if you, you could do that. That's cool. Uh, but we can't go for a Synchro Summon, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, we're not gonna go for a Synchro Summon right now. I'm doing this so I can pitch some cards. Cause we need, yo, we just pitched Bacon Saver. You guys didn't see it, but we actually just pitched Bacon Saver. So that was great. Okay, we're not in that bad of a spot, to be fair. We have Regeki Break, so we can target his circle. Because I know for a fact this deck can deal with Dark Magician. I know for a fact it can. So I just got to worry about, um, oh, not unless he Cosmic Cyclones. Well, that's an oofy right there. That's an oofy right there. That's going to definitely disrupt what we want to do. And he's going to trigger Sealed Tomb so that Bacon Saver, we can't banish for Bacon Saver. That's a problem. Now, it is good that we still have our Answer Magic Arrows, but against a deck like this, probably won't be the best. Probably won't be the best, but man, that sucks because I would have loved to destroy that Dark Magical Circle. We're gonna get we're gonna get oofed right here. We're gonna get oofed right here, especially if they play Sealed Tombs. If they play Sealed Tombs, it is game over. It is game over. If they don't play Sealed Tombs, we'll be okay. The also another thing I gotta worry about is that Lumina might get destroyed right here. Well, no, we still have a Bacon Saver, so it, I we just gotta hope no Sealed Tombs because we need Lumina on the field right now. Okay, come on, come on, don't play Sealed Tombs, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Please don't. Let me see. Yeah, because they didn't play uh, ability yet. Because they can't, they, they might want to not consider playing Steel Tombs so that they can banish their navigation. But honestly, at the same time, this opponent really needs to do it. So we'll see, we'll see. Yep, that sucks. That sucks, man. Um. So yeah, goodbye to Lumina. Lumina won't be able to uh, get protected by Bacon Saber. Now, I don't think he can banish anything. Because it says neither player can banish targets. Yeah, so that's good, but... Other than that, this is a bad situation. So we out here are gonna take the fattest of L's. Um, yeah, the only thing I could think of doing is just to we're gonna swing. We're gonna play the anti magic arrows and just get rid of his monster. That's all. That's all we're gonna do right here. Um, yeah. I mean, we still got the bacon, which is nice, but I still don't see a possible way of us coming back from a situation like this. It's going to be interesting on how this duel is going to play out. Because we're going to live because now we can banish our Bacon Savers. So when he summons into two Dark Magicians, we'll be able to live a turn. But I seriously don't think we can make a comeback against this. I'm definitely going to have to possibly adjust the deck um, a little bit. Like, I think I might replace their Geki Breaks. I originally put them in the deck because you get to pitch your cards to the graveyard and then target stuff. But probably Phoenix Chain would work better, um, to be honest. Yeah, I think Phoenix Chain would have worked better. Um, compared to a card like this, or just something that's more reactable. At the same time, though, I couldn't really play around Cosmic Cyclone, so, uh, there's definitely that. Don't tell me we're gonna get a cheese win right here. Don't tell me. Because, like, I'll fight the fight saying, like, it was still kind of anybody's game, but I was such in a losing spot. God dang it, man. Like, I'll take the dub, I guess. Yo, we defeated the tier one deck with our Light Sworn deck. No way. But, like, it's just not the case. It's just not the case like that. Whatever, I'll move on. We'll take that free dub. Because, like, I think there was still a chance for me to make a comeback with my deck. I have confidence in my deck that it could have made that comeback um, with the situation that we had. But at the same time, it's like, eh, 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 I don't think so. But, hey, we, we, we defeated this Dark Magician deck. Let's go, boys. Leave a like if you guys are hyped for defeating tier one deck. Nonetheless, so let's go move on to the next one today's video. Next opponent going against his Gogo. Let's go see what Gogo has up his sleeve. Yami Yug versus Yami Yug. Let's see which is the best Yami Yug. Let's see. Are we going second or first? We're going second. Okay. I haven't went second in the, with this deck in a minute. I think the dual replay show showed you guys. I always went first. So that's fun. Um, I'm the only one that activates Spell Specialist. Good hand. This hand's actually really good. We got the anti meme Arrow. We got the Raiden, Lumina, and Charge Light Brigade. I like it. If we can draw into some... Um, if we can draw into some of our boss monsters... I think we'll be set, boys. I think we'll be set. Regeki break. Eh. Eh. Kind of meh. Kind of meh. Ooh. We do got that uh, Plague Spreader. And we do got that Light Pulsar Dragon. I like it. I like it. Ultimate Providence. Dude, that's fine. That is fine. I, I Honestly, I am okay with this. I am okay with this. Now, let's see. Will I have the opportunity to OTK? I might. I might. Not anymore, because he just summoned it to his uh, Magician of Dark Illusion. Okay, then. So we got some options. We got some options. So we're going to be able to summon our Plague. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see how I want to go at this. How, let's see. We're going to summon it to Lumina. We're going to trigger Lumina's effect. 
pitch our Raiden, and then summon a Raiden. Next up, we're going to pitch a couple cards. Um, next up, probably the best play is to summon it to Michael. Yeah, we're just going to summon it to Michael, not do anything crazy. We're not going to summon Plague Spider, there's not really much reason to. Yeah, because I, I wouldn't be... Because I can summon it to Braniac, Rocking Braniac in the deck, but that wouldn't be enough to kill. Because our Illumina only has 100, or uh, 1,000 attack. If our Illumina had, uh, like, 1,700 attack, then we could OTK, but not going to happen. Next up, we're going to go banish his face down card. See if he's playing an Oonga Boonga deck. Okay, I mean, it's still a little Oonga Boonga, but that's okay. Let's go set the Regeki, and then go attack and destroy his Dark Magician. And uh, we, we win. Like, this guy literally can't do a thing. We have follow-up plays. We have destruction with Regeki Rake. We're gonna be chilling. We're gonna be chilling. But yeah, I was running Regeki Break in the deck because like sometimes you don't want to like draw into some of these uh, boss monsters or just other stuff. Or no, you do want to draw into these boss monsters because I just love draw top deck into a boss monster and just pop off. Um, but no, there's like times where you do want to pitch some of your cards to get that graveyard synergy going. So yeah, Let's see if this guy's like a kite ride or something. Other than that, I think we're good to go. But I might debate on, like, I wish I had two copies of Phoenix Chain, to be fair. I think Phoenix Chain would be a much better card than Regeki Break, but I only got one copy of Phoenix Chain, so. I don't know. I'll have to figure that one out. I'll have to figure that one out on my own. Let's go take a look at this guy's deck list, though, and see what version of Dark Magician um, he's playing. But, yo, we defeated Dark Magician two times, boys. No way. No way. Oh, he did have a Kite Ride. He did have a Kite Ride indeed, but we're definitely going against some unorthodox Dark Magician decks. Which I guess is a little fitting, because I'm playing an unorthodox Light Sworn deck, that is for sure. But let's go move on to the next and final duel today's video. Maybe, maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Going against XL, Platinum Rank 4, he's from Spain. How you doing? Oh snap, we going against DSOD Joey Wheeler. I love it. Okay, let's go see what our boy DSOD Joey Wheeler has up his sleeve. We're going second again, and if both of us win this duel, or if one of us wins this duel, we'll rank up. Now that's some high stakes right there. That's some high stakes right here. And would you look at that? Of course, rank up match, we get a pretty bad hand. Thank goodness we're going second, because honestly, this hand can be really good depending on what we draw into. But the probability of that is still kind of low, so... Wait, wait, no, we have charge. For a second, I thought this was the uh, pitch of light sword and draw two cards. No, we actually top deck it to charge? Woo! Charge is actually really good. Oh my god. That's actually, that's some heat. That is some heat. I just realized we have charge, not the solar recharge. Oh baby, let's go. Oh, we're going against Lunalites though. I, I'll i be honest, I really need to start playing Lunalites because I have literally no clue to play against this deck. I am glad that we are going turn two against this deck though because this deck keeps OTKing my ass like over and over and over again. At the same time though, I should probably like Take a, take a read at some of these cards. I should probably, like, assess the situation before I go for some plays. Because, yeah, like I said, I do not know. I do not know how to play against this deck. Uh, this is this is uh, getting into all the boss monsters, though. Kind of an oofy. Kind of an oofy, I'll admit. Okay, so. What does this card do? If this card is set to the graveyard by a card effect, target a monster. When a card effect targets a... You control, like, banish card, naked face. Oh, fuck. And this is a target effect. Shit. And then what do you do? Uh, cannot, must be fusion summon against your attack for each beast warrior advantage in the graveyard. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Well, that's, that's, that's fun. Okay. I don't think we can win this then. Okay, this also stands as a target effect. Yeah. Uh, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects during your main phase of the turn. So in the graveyard, you can banish this card. I think we lose. I don't think I can play against this deck because my deck relies on target effects. Yeah, discard a card, target a card, and feel destroy it. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything. I really don't think we can do a single thing. Um, We'll figure it out, though. We'll figure it out, though. We're going to add a raid into the hand because we pitched a wolf. We pitched a wolfie. So we're going to summon our wolf. Next up, we do have a toolbox still. Huh. Is there one card in one card? Yeah, this card cannot... This is interesting. I really do not know how I feel about this situation. Um. Dude, this music, though, is, like, kind of getting me pumped up. I Synchro Summon! Start a Spark Dragon! I really do not know what to do, though. Like, I, I just don't. I just don't know what to do. 
your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Like, literally, that effect alone is like, I, I don't think I can do a thing. The other Saber Dancer card? Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. And now, does this do piercing? No, it doesn't. Oh, man, I don't know what to do in this situation. Literally, the only thing that I can do right now is just stall, because I don't have any other ideas. I can't get a monster with um, more than that attack with Luna Light right now. Because all my effects target. You can discard target, yeah. Broniac target. Scrap target. Michael target. Oh, man. It's just too many target effects that I just can't deal with right now, so we just got a fast turn. Literally, my only ways are going to be winning this duel is if he summons a bunch of weak monsters and I can attack him, or if um, I can stall him out for 14 turns, which I don't want to do. But from how this deck is looking like, might have to be the case. Okay. I mean, you might be able to OTK our ass right now. Oh, man, I just do not know what to do. Like I said, Luna Lights is a deck that I need to learn how to go against. Because people are saying that this deck isn't crazy good, but I, I've i been losing to this deck, like, all the time. So, it's something. Ooh, he misplayed right here. He thought he could summon a second Saber Dancer, I'm going to guess. Unless he wanted to give it, like, a ton of attack, which, you know, makes sense, but... Okay, what does Emerald Bird do? What does this birdie do? Um, you can send if you do draw a card. Okay. That card has his effect negated. I mean, I'm willing to stall for 13 turns if that gets me the dub. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. This is something. This is something right here, boys. A bacon. That's a pog. That is a pog indeed. And we're going to set our boy bacon and pass. Hey, I'm willing to stall for X amount of turns, man. It's time. It is time, boys. Oh man, this is something. This this is something. What do you get a target? What are you debating on? Yeah, you go you go do that. You go do that. Yeah. Yeah. Get that bacon in the graveyard, dude. I'm stalling for 12 turns, dude. That's the power of my chaos deck where I can stall for 12 turns. Oh man, this is just scummy. This is just scummy, but I I don't have any other outs. I legit don't have any other outs to this deck, so I'm just gonna stall for 12 turns. We're gonna be here all night, boys, and I'm gonna have to like edit this video more than I thought I was gonna edit it. That's for sure. Jeez, what a joke. Like this guy's waiting till he can get his second um or he can get his second Luna lightsaber. Uh oh. Hey, leave my Sparky alone, bro. Leave it alone. Sparky did nothing wrong. Yes! He surrendered! Yes! We won against Luna Lights! I cannot believe I won against Luna Lights in the most scumbag way. I am ashamed and proud of myself at the same time. I am ashamed and proud of myself at the same time because I know I'm a scumbag, but you know what, boys? Chaos Light Swords getting that dub, and that means I don't need to edit the video that much. Yo, XL, I am genuinely sorry, because trust me, I hate stall decks with a passion. My deck wasn't planned to be built as a stall deck, but at the same time, I want to win every single duel, and since I wanted to win every single duel, I had to win by any means necessary. So I genuinely feel bad, homie, if you ever watch this video. I genuinely feel bad, homie. But yo, you had me, you had me on the rope, so you just didn't have any outs to my non-targeted uh, card, or my card that can not get destroyed in a battle. Oh my goodness, I'm surprised we won that. That is amazing. That's gonna be it for today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links Ranked PP video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Chaos Lightsworn deck. A lot of fun to play. If any of you guys can play it, I do recommend it because it is a ton of fun to play, but I know it's very expensive, so I don't expect everybody to be able to try it out. But nonetheless, though, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that like button on the video down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content because your boy is going to be making a lot of content. Other than that, though, thank you so much for watching, and I'll go see you guys next Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Peace out, everybody. Up in a cycle, repeat. A lie. How many chasing their dreams? A lie. How many of us give up because we taking the failure as if it's defeat? A lie. How many of us is weak? A lie. How many of us is scared? A lie. How many of us don't understand that we got somebody who really cares? A lie.